2014 Kia Optima front headlight bulb replacement. Here's a little tip. If your bulb's out and you need to get home, you can kind of hit the uh, top of this and your light might just turn back on. Um, you still got to replace it, but that's just a little tip that might help you get home and not get the ticket so you can see in the dark. So to replace this, I'm going to be doing the passenger side. It's going to be this one right here. Now you can reach in here. I'm going to show you with this uh, coolant reservoir on real quick. You could reach in here, especially if you got small hands. And what you do is you twist this towards the engine. And then once you twist it, it unlocks and you could pull this back. And that gives you access to the headlight. So that's one way to do it. And then your uh, bulb's in there. Um, now, if you have a 10 millimeter socket, you can take this reservoir off. So uh, it's a bolt right here and a bolt right here. You could do it either way if you're really determined, but this way will give you a lot more room and make it a lot more easier. I prefer this way. Just take this 10 off, take this 10 off. Um, there's going to be coolant in the reservoir most likely. So when you lift this up and just kind of move it, just be careful not to like tip it or spill it. Mine was kind of empty. So once that's out the way, we can come down here and we already have the cover off. Uh, this bulb is like this. This is without it being off. So what you want to do is grab the bulb, twist it towards the outside of the car, and then gently wiggle it out like that. And then you have to disassemble it from that gray connector. You squeeze the sides of that gray connector and pull it off. All right. Got this off. Now, uh, if, I don't know if you can see, but those that's a frayed coil inside the bulb. That's why it kind of was working and then not working. This is the H11 bulb. Here's my new one. With your uh, new ones and old ones, make sure that red gasket doesn't get left on the car when you take your old one off. Um, I got my new one here. Don't touch the bulb with your fingers. Push it back into the connector right here uh, gently. Make sure it's good and tight. Again, try not to touch the top of the bulb or the bulb itself with our fingers because the greases on our skin mess the bulb up. So once you get it in, you'll, uh, you'll twist it to the side and then twist it uh, towards the engine to lock it in place. So then once you get that in, we'll just put this on and screw this back on. All right, and then you kind of have to like, just keep turning that towards the outside of the car and then it'll lock into place. Once that's back in, we can put this reservoir on. Now it's the same procedure for the other side, but the other side you kind of got your battery in the way, so you might have to move it, but I believe you could still get it with the battery in if you have tiny hands. But I got this back in, and that's it, guys. Hopefully this video helped you out. I know it was like a fast one, um, but, uh, you know, I figured it's better help than nothing. Thanks for watching. See you next video. You're pretty good.